Ah, the sea, so fascinating, so wonderful. Here we see Bikini Bottom, teeming with life, home of one of my favorite creatures, SpongeBob SquarePants. <coughs> when you hear the word SpongeBob SquarePants, you usually think of this little guy. Bob Le Sponge if you're French. SpongeBob absolutely exploding tinned onto the scene in the early 2000s and his presence still dominates the internet today. Now I know what you're thinking, uh, the newer SpongeBob episodes are considered by many to be, um, ass. But throughout all that, uh, this dude, he, he going, he going sicko mode, okay? You can't scroll on social media for more than 10 minutes without running into a picture of this guy, alright? What if I told you Bikini Bottom wasn't all sunshine and fucking flower clouds why are, why are the clouds flower those are homemade pies sure look good oh these aren't homemade they were made in a factory a bomb factory they're bombs season two episode four dying for pie <laughs> everybody remembers this episode uh but if you haven't seen it basically squidward gets a pie from mr krabs because he's obese and it turns out that the pie is in fact a c4 remotely detonated <laughs> this would all be fine and dandy but uh spongebob's little tummy was grumbling and he ate the entire fucking thing this decision alone brings something rarely seen in the series we all know squidward 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 p tentacles is that his middle name and we all know how he feels about spongebob all right he don't he don't he don't fuck with the boy this is the first time in the series, to my knowledge, that Squidward has actually felt remorseful towards Spongebob. But before we get too deep into this episode, we need to understand the power dynamic, okay? Alright you two! Out! Don't even think about dragging your empty skulls around here for the rest of the day! Or tomorrow! Or next week! Squidward, does that include- Yes it does! Throughout the early seasons of Spongebob, every episode basically boils down to Squidward versus Spongebob, alright? Squidward is the adult, Squidward is us now, alright? And Spongebob was us as a kid. So when we were all kids, sitting down with our little blankies, eating our Pop-Tart, watching Spongebob, we were watching the show through the lens of the little, the little fry cook, alright? But now that we're grown up, we see Squidward's perspective. Like, as a kid, I always thought, damn, this Squidward guy, straight bitch made, bro, always complaining about everything. But now when we rewatch these episodes we're seeing it through the lens of the goddamn the cashier bro the clarinet player bro the failed artist so if we watch season two episode four dying for pie through the lens of squidward we're actually able to see how dark this episode really is you had to kill him the boy cries your sweater and tears and you kill him how are you gonna live with yourself? The main plot point of this episode is basically the list. Squidward and Mr. Krabs are convinced that this is gonna be SpongeBob's last day in Bikini Bottom. They come to an agreement that Squidward should make this his best day ever. So naturally, in SpongeBob fashion, he whips out this goddamn list, alright? This shit looks like a Walgreens receipt. It's hella long. And it's got a bunch of stuff for SpongeBob and Squidward to do together. The entire day consists of Squidward getting absolutely publicly humiliated. But let's uh, let's uh slow down real quick, alright? Do you guys remember the salmon suit incident? When I was a kid, I never really understood why everyone was afraid of the salmon suit. It's just, it's, it's just a, it's a little fish suit, okay? But I want you guys to really think about something, alright? Every resident of Bikini Bottom is a fish. This means that Squidward is legitimately walking around in a corpse, which pretty much explains everybody's reaction to it. Now this is part of a whole Spongebob theory called Skin Theory. I'm not gonna get into it in today's video, but uh, if you guys wanna see that, make sure you drop a comment and let me know. But anyway, they finally get to the last thing on the list. Watch the sunset with Squidward. Sunset? The way I see it, the lad's got until sunset before that bomb hits his lower intestine. Hey, it's Mr. Krabs! Hi, Mr. Krabs! <laughs> okay, see you later! Now this right here is what I believe to be one of the darkest scenes in Spongebob ever. As they lay down watching the sunset, Squidward knows that this pie is gonna explode and absolutely decimate Spongebob. You can see the emotion on Squidward's face throughout the entire thing. And this brings us back to that power dynamic I was talking about earlier. Everyone thinks Squidward doesn't care about Spongebob, but this episode really shows that he does. Squidward needs Spongebob, and Spongebob needs Squidward. Although they're usually beefing, the show wouldn't be nearly as enjoyable if it was only one of them. Each of their characters contrast each other perfectly and this basically makes up the whole of why Spongebob is still talked about today. It's a kids show for adults and that's exactly why this episode is so dark. Squidward has to deal with the fact that his friend has mere minutes left to live and Spongebob is oblivious to all of it. As the sun goes down over Bikini Bottom, they each begin to count Spongebob's last minutes. 
five, four, three. Except that's uh not how it ended. Of course, SpongeBob wasn't going to actually die during this, but the fact that this episode was able to tap into such heavy themes really makes me believe that this truly is the darkest episode of SpongeBob. Real quick, I just want to thank you guys for 60k, it's absolutely insane, and um, I really want you guys to let me know what you think of this type of content, because I would love to make more of this style, and um, yeah, other than that, split homework time, haha, <laughs> ain't gonna catch me slipping, I want you to tell me what your favorite episode of Spongebob was, drop it in the comments, or the split homework channel on the discord, other than that, love you guys so much, take care, mwah, mwah. and yeah, definitely let me know if you want me to make more of these videos, because uh, I'm gonna do it anyway, okay, <laughs> bye, love you guys.